What is this? Like out of the movie Life? <laughs> no, like Cannabama over at St. Francis. The Boom Boom Room. Yeah, we're, uh, we've been over five years over there, and we sell farm bill for plant cannabis products, a bunch of THC, flower, edible vape. Like the the THC A's. That and Delta 9, yep. Yeah. Same thing, but yeah. You know, a lot of people are all skeptical about it, even though it gets you ripped. I know. It's the same thing. They just need an explanation on what it is and the difference, in fact, and, and, and it, that there's not one, technically, you know what I mean? Well, let me ask you this, because this is something I've wanted to ask forever. So y'all sell like the flower products, right? Mm -hmm. do it. But what if, say, what if somebody like me from North Alabama mm -hmm. wanted to get like 10 pounds and then push it in the streets? I mean, if the only way to buy it from providers like we work with, you would have to have like an LLC and a business license yes. to prove that you're a store owner. Now selling it, I mean... Let me ask you this. Are the pound prices much higher than the street prices of just the regular, not with the dash A on if it? If you're doing the THCA flower, honestly, no. Street prices, or at least legal world prices, are very similar to our THCA hemp world prices. So let me ask, do you guys though, buy pounds? Yeah, at our shop. So at our shop, we buy pounds and sell up to an ounce per day per customer. Without getting too in the detail, what are the price ranges on a wholesale pound you would purchase? Not what you would sell for, just out of curiosity, um, if it's not too much of a business yeah, secret. I mean, honestly, they range close to like two grand or so. Two grand. Yeah, and we've talked to some weed world people, and a lot of the prices are the same, and, and you know, regular marijuana in the weed world. THCA flower in the well, Let me ask you this. If I had similar prices. If I picked up like 10 pounds of that, right? And I just had it in the trunk. Mm -hmm. And I was riding around town just slinging it. Okay. What would the, would the, the cops are going to arrest me like it's... If you don't have... If, if you don't have legal documentation to prove that it's hemp flower that you can own and sell, that's a problem. And on top of that, I don't know how they look at it if you're not like a business owner with a business license. Well, I mean, I've been all over. Like you know in I mean? Miami, for example, they have literally vans they drive around. They look like ice cream trucks. Yeah. They but they got the... Choice of whether you want to take that yeah, they or might or have you know. some kind of permit or not. I don't know. When you're mobile, you can probably get away with more stuff. So... I have no idea the legality in terms of well, selling it that way. I wouldn't recommend it because um, you can't really back up besides some pieces of paper that it's legal product. Well, so the thing I mean? with TAC A, right, is if you let it sit a little too long and, it, you know, it sits a little too long, some of the A's turn into the... No, so when right? you have raw flour, whether it's flour grown in 1970 or flour grown today in California, all of the cannabinoids in the flour are acidic. THCA is the acidic tetrahydrocannabinol. Once you heat it or decarb it with 180 degrees or higher, it converts into delta 9. CBDA turns into CBD. And so that's when you normally ingest the cannabinoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In an edible or you just smoked it. Sorry, so. What? You can pay roosters five bucks. That that this Mexican place right there. There's this lady that said go to some Harley to back door or something. something. I, don't, I wouldn't go through any back door, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd rather pay five bucks to the bathroom than go through a back door. Well. Well, so I know that's when you put the flame to it, that's when the chemical reaction happens. Yes. But what if it's in the trunk of your car and it's the summer, it's like 107 degrees, no, nothing's so going to convert? Your car would have to get up to 180 degrees or higher. I mean, sometimes I mean, I even, it does in the, you know, with the... I mean, the, I don't even know. With the I don't know how that would work, man. I mean, sure, it might decar, but I don't... The, the flower probably wouldn't be worth it at that point. You know how dry herb vapes work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it heats it up to the point where you get all the cannabinoids and everything valuable off the outside of the plant, and then it's like brown dirt after that. Yeah. I don't so, know. If your car sat at 180 or higher for long enough, that might happen. I don't know. So there ain't no discount. Sure. It's, it's, it's so... It's like two a brick, but what if you get like 12 of them? There's I mean, no it price on who you're drop in with. That? You might get, we've never bought flour in that capacity. So we don't, we only have uh, one store. Gonna get there. So we don't flip like pounds and pounds and pounds every week. We might take a pound and make it last two or three weeks. You know what I'm saying? But do you guys offer pounds in the no, store? No, no, we don't do that. Why we not? Actually, there's no legal law telling us we can't. However, when we first opened, when we first opened, we had lots of guys that wanted, were t literally well, yeah, telling us they wanted to sell it on the street. And we well, were like, yeah, we're not going to do that. You can buy well, that. That is iffy, but some people want to buy a pound and then smoke for six months and not have to worry of about course. it. Now, though. we have helped one customer. He came to us. He had a lot of medical problems. He did not like taking any other method, and he really 
really wanted to smoke, and he had his parents there. I mean, this guy was like in his late twenties. So we kind of went through a whole thing. We're like, look, we we could help you out. Now that was like three or four years ago. Yeah, yeah. He might have bought a half pound from us like twice in a year. You know what I mean? And so we've done that one time, but outside of that, we don't even care. Well, well, let me ask you this, because I did. I quit smoking a few years ago before all this stuff happened. Would you say that you are totally and completely satisfied with this as an alternative? Yeah, dude, I haven't smoked regular street weed and since we got this like six or eight months ago. Yeah. It's and will you say satisfactory. Essentially, all of it that you touch, you say it's like 2000 a pound. But it, would you consider it to all be basically the gas or the gas? Like Some brands sell indoor-grown exotic stuff for like 2500 a pound. Some people yeah. give you outdoor smalls for a couple hundred dollars less. So they are ranges in quality. But yeah, most of the stuff we get is outdoor quality flour or indoor quality what flour. Kind of and it, is good yeah, stuff. all of it's lab tested, so it's all safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, the no. quality of potency, depending on the prices and availability of what they have, yeah, some of it's really good, some of it's kind of mid. Most of the time, we well, get that, pretty good stuff. Like, we'll, well even what, put the percentages on the jars in our yeah. shop yeah. that are like, you know, 20 to 30 percent or so ranging. Well, let me ask you this. So do you outsource all of your like other products, like your carts and stuff like that, or do you do every, it? In, in everything's actually outsourced. We buy everything from other okay. other uh, other companies and things like that. Well, so something I've always heard is to be a little more careful around like the stuff you might get from like the Indian gas station. Do you guys yes. have any thoughts on that? Would, would you say, say your product is if you're gonna certified buy, versus if you're gonna what buy, you get from the, Yeah, if you're gonna buy anything in the hemp world, shop at cannabis stores. They usually buy better quality stuff. And the difference comes down to the brands that you work with. Because there's no FDA regulation on any of this, so people that want to cut corners can, and they will. And they do. They sell to gas stations and smoke okay. shops. Really, like when you can buy two carts, for thirty dollars, that's not a good deal. They're yeah, selling you yeah, yeah. terrible, terrible product. Okay. But when you can come to our shop and get a product with a lab COA QR code to scan, I can tell you the name of our vendor that I talk to every week when I buy some. All of that backs up once you taste the quality and feel the quality of the product. We've never had anybody hospitalized. Nobody's ever been injured. The only faultiness in products is sometimes we get a dud in a battery. Um, but other than these that, these things happen. Yeah, they make them by the thousands, so that yeah. happens. But no. We've always maintained quality, and I would recommend if you don't shop with us, shop with other cannabis stores. That's don't a, go to smoke shops and don't go to gas stations. That's really good and very useful information. Because yeah, there is a lot of crap out there, and you can you can accidentally buy it, and that's lots a, of people have. And that turns a, a lot of people off, too, especially if people get hurt. That's when, that's when it really yeah. sucks. Because it makes us look bad, even though we don't do any of that. But if your first experience is a really terrible Delta 8 car, that missed your, your lungs yeah, up. From and, the gas station. Yeah, no, we don't, you know, that, that makes people look down on all of this stuff. And it sucks, well, but. well, let me ask you, are there concerns? Are you concerned of, like, a federal crackdown at any point? Um, The only thing we can cons- Like, is there anything going on right level? now that no, you might be like, aware of? No, no, no. The only thing that's, like, kind of up to date that could be changing is the farm bill. Like, I know that they're talking about, like, changing some of the farm bill ruling, which would kind of maybe affect some of these products. I think they're going to add an age requirement to it finally. That's the only thing we're really concerned about. Well, that's fine. You know, yeah, that's all yeah, fine. That's yeah. fine. We just don't want them to start banning specific cannabinoids, which cuts out whole categories of product. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. we don't want. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for the very yeah. informative. Yeah, look, man, come by our yeah. shop. Well, you gave me a card. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. You cool. might have already Thank been, you, you know. <laughs> but it's definitely yeah. good to get some real street information. Because a lot of people don't know, right? Yeah. Like, a lot, a lot of people, people don't. don't. A lot of people go to the gas station, and then they, they form a completely wrong opinion. Oh, yeah. Good or bad. You know, they might yeah. think that stuff's really great when it's not. They could get something that's quality and really good. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? There was so. a table out there the night, and they were just selling, like, random stuff. Oh, yeah. No like, tablecloth in the middle of the street. Two, two people, and yeah. the... Somebody called the police on them. We saw one yeah. of them getting arrested. Yeah. yeah. These yeah. things happen. Well, are you guys concerned about that? Just like uninformed officers and oh, stuff no, pulling man. up? We got a vendor's permit. We've been over there five years. Everybody knows who we are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not awesome. worried, man. Well, thank you for the information. Anytime. You're helping a lot of people with that positive information of so they know what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, y'all too. Y'all going to the Boosty Show, right? Yes, today. It's a soul kitchen right down here. Maybe. <laughs> Probably Maybe. now. That's right down, right down the street. Doors open at 9, show starts at 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you too. Oh, wait. That's literally right here.
Dang. Well, I'm actually, I'm going, I'm going this way. I'm live. They saw all of it in real time. Cool, awesome. I'm kick. Kick. It's live right now. Go to the browser because I bet you don't have the app. Pull it up. Is this it? Uh, that's the website, yeah. Okay, cool. Go to the, uh, gotta do a little slash though. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. To get to the channel. Uh, uh, no, not K I K, K I C K. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I know the colors are the same, but it's different. I was like, man. <laughs> yeah. L L O U L Z. That's it? Yep. Cool. That's it. It's windy tonight, guys. Uh, it's gonna yeah. get cold. Wind tunnels through here. Oh, hell yeah. That's y'all. Alright, I'm gonna hit this way a little bit. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>